action. Hi friends, we're gonna read another book and it's about the holiday that's in November when you get together with families that you love um, and you eat turkey. Well, some people eat turkey. It's called Thanksgiving. Can you say that? Thanksgiving, yes. Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. That's the title. Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. That's the title of this book. Okay, what's this? What part of the book is this? Yes, it's the back of the book. The front of the book. And Miss Donna just told you, what's this? What are the words? It's the title of the book. Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. What's this hard part of the book? The spine. What are these called? The pages, yep. What page is this? The title page, there's the title of the book again. This is the title page, yep. Um, let's see, Margaret Sutherland wrote the words to this story. Margaret Sutherland wrote the words. What is she? Who writes the words in a story? Yeah, the author writes the words, very good. And Sanja Lamott drew the pictures. Who draws the pictures in a book? We know the author writes the words. Who draws the picture? It's a very long word. The il illustrator. Good. Let's clap that. Illustrator. Illustrator. One, two, three, four. That's a long word. Th four parts. Okay. Thanksgiving is for giving thanks. Thanksgiving is the day of the year that we eat lots of turkey and pumpkin pie. I like pumpkin pie. I like apple pie is my favorite. What's your favorite? But most of all, it's the day when we give thanks for all the things that make us feel happy. Yeah, Thanksgiving is a day when you give thanks for things that make you happy, like your family, when your family comes and visits. Yeah. I'm thankful for my mom and dad. They love me when I'm good. So she's thankful for her mom and dad. She says they love me when I'm good. And even when I'm not so good, when I make mistakes. Like, look, I played with the basketball in the house and I knocked over the vase. And mom and dad told me not to play with the ball in the house. But I did. But mom and dad still love me. Oh, look at it. We just talked about that feeling. What's that feeling? <gasps> Surprised, yes. She's surprised, she's like, oh, oh no, I knocked the vase over. I'm thankful for everyone else in my family too. I'm happy for my dog and I'm happy for grandma when she gives me really, really big hugs and grandpa too. So she's thankful for her puppy and grandma and grandpa and the beautiful hugs that they give her. I'm also thankful for my teacher. Who's your teachers? Yeah, Miss Abby and Miss Donna. I hope you're thankful for us because we're thankful for you that you come to our sessions every day and listen to us. We love you and we're thankful for you. So my teacher makes me feel special when she hangs up my pictures on the wall. Since you guys don't come to school, I, Miss Abby and I can't hang your pictures up, but we look at them when you post them on Seesaw. We love to see all your artwork. Please keep sending them to us. We love to see them. Looks like he drew a nice big cat. Someone do a, drew a shelter. There's a shelter, it looks like a castle. Someone drew a picture of themselves and there's Miss Donna's favorite, the sun. Hmm. I'm thankful for my friends who make me laugh and we can play together. So you have lots of friends, I, I bet. Maybe your cousins, your brothers and sisters or just your friends in the neighborhood that you can play with and have fun with. She's thankful for her friends. 
I'm thankful for my room. Sometimes it's nice to be all by myself after I've played with my friends all day. I like to just go in my room and be by myself. So she's thankful for a room that's all to herself. She has her toys in there, her beds in there. Yep. It looks like she has a fish in there too. I'm thankful for hot chocolate on a cold, rainy day. Who likes hot chocolate? I do, but I like mine with marshmallows. Look, at there's her hot chocolate. There's her kitty cat, and it's raining. And look what they're using to protect them. What are those? Yeah, they're umbrellas. They protect them from the rain, from the weather. Keeps them dry. Yeah. I like hot chocolate, not so much on a rainy day, but on a wintry, snowy day. I love hot chocolate. I'm thankful for all the dogs and the cats that I know. It's fun when they let me pet them. Wow, look at all these dogs. Are you ready? One, two, three, four, five, six dogs. Check it out. Wow, and two cats in the window. Who likes, who has, who has a pet? I don't have a pet. Yep. And I don't think Miss Abby has a pet either. But if you guys have a pet, I bet you love to play with them and, and care for them and pet them. These aren't, I don't think those are all hers. I think, so. I think she likes to go outside and pet other people's dogs. Wow, that's a lot. I'm thankful for my favorite books. I like bedtime when mom or dad reads to me. Whoa, look at all the books. I hope you like it when Miss Donna reads to you. I love reading to you guys. And I like it when I can get on our virtual classroom and I can see who went to my video and read it. And I love it when I see your names and I go, oh, some, somebody read my book. Somebody looked at my video. Miss Donna loves to record books for you to read. It's fun, right? Look at all the books he read. Looks like a dragon one right there. I'm thankful for bright sunny days when I can play outside with my friends at the park. I go on the seesaw or I play in the sand. We can't do that too much right now because the weather's getting colder. But this is a nice sunny day so they can go outside. I'm also thankful for lollipops that turn my tongue purple or green or orange or red or blue. Look at all the lollipops. Looks like they might be at a birthday party and they each got a lollipop and it's turning their tongue a certain color. It's like sometimes if you eat a popsicle your tongue turns a certain color um, when you're eating a popsicle too. I'm thankful for special days like Thanksgiving when I'm with my whole family and we can all be thankful together. There's our whole family and they're all at Thanksgiving together eating turkey and having apple pie, even the cats down there, or the dog, I think. So, I want you to think about this book because tomorrow, when you come to my session, I'm gonna ask you what you are thankful for. I want you to think about all the things in your life, all the things at home, and think about what you are thankful for. I will tell you what I'm thankful for, tomorrow and Miss Abby will tell you what she's thankful for, but then we wanna hear from you what you're thankful for, okay? And maybe your mommies and daddies or grandma and grandpas can tell us what they're thankful for too, okay? Bye friends.